So as usual, I was scrolling Twitter and I saw this tweet. You see that right? Team Ghost won. And you know what that means. Shiver lost. And it seems like a lot of people are very excited at the fact that Shiver lost. But one of the funny things that actually happened is the fact that Skeleton received less votes than zombies. Yeah, I, you heard that right. Like, they, the, in the actual stats of it all, they actually showed that for the popularity that Shiver got 19.32%, while Skeleton, which was Fry, got 17.66%. I find that actually kind of crazy because the night of, like, you legitimately did not see anybody on Team Zombies. No, seriously, did you guys that, that picked Zombies, did you see them? It, it, was, it wasn't even, like, a thing at all. And Big Man just blew it out the water for this one, which was Ghost. Everybody seemed to absolutely love Ghost. Or it seemed like Japan really loved Ghost, which would make sense also. And you know what? Shout out to Big Man for winning this one. And also because it, it, at the end of the day... Why would you want to be a ghost when you could be a skeleton? But funny enough, I did bring up the conversation. I feel like they nerfed Shiver just a little bit, in my opinion. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's me. But I think that Shiver was supposed to be a vampire or possibly even a witch. And they made a business decision. Nintendo made a business decision to not allow Shiver to win this one because I don't think the community would have been able to handle another Shiver dub. That would have been six wins, and now it's only five. And there's just been people talking about, like, you know, how happy they are that Shiver basically lost. And basically, people wanted this. They they did not want to see another Shiver win. And that just equals to, it was a decent fest. I think that a lot of the decorations were really good, in my opinion. I think that they did a great job on the theming. Outside of that, it's Turf War. You guys already know this. I'm not the biggest Turf War fan. And to be real, I don't know. Did you guys play Tricolor? Did you like Tricolor? Did you enjoy Brine Water Tricolor? Was it everything that you thought it was going to be? I've said the same thing. Tricolor is not for me. But I did ask you guys on a poll. How do you feel about Brine Water Tricolor? And a lot of you guys voted that it was mid. So basically 50% of votes went to mid, 33% of the votes went to trash, and 13% went to good, 5% went to fire. Now, I just believe that some of you guys like to click on anything, so I don't actually sometimes regard like the super small 5% because I feel like somebody's just like, I see this category and I wanna click it, and that's really it, but not a big deal at the end of the day. But how did you guys feel about the Splatfest? Do you feel like, this was an upgrade. I definitely will say on the aesthetic side, they did a great job. Music, theming, decorations, everything. I think that they did a good job with the Splatfest. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments, please. I, I would love to hear what you guys think about this Splatfest. What do you think the next special Splatfest should be? And yo, guys, I need you guys to remember something, all right? We're here trying to reach new heights. So if you guys have been enjoying my content, don't forget to subscribe to the content. Ken knows, man. As I said, I've been doing my best as the number one professional yapper on the internet to bring you just information that is possibly more important than you could know. No, not genuinely, it's not. It's literally, I, I've, I've come to understand that I'm basically a talk show host for, the, uh, for Twitter at this point. But, yo, guys, just to let you guys make sure that you guys know, also, the Daylight Savings tweet that I talked about yesterday uh, on, basically, on Friday, just to let you guys know, that is for this upcoming weekend. I, I think I said this following weekend, that is for this upcoming weekend. So, basically, uh, we are coming into the start of November. Basically, October is finally over. So, for the weekend of, uh, from the 3rd to the, basically, the 5th, obviously going into like Sunday morning. Uh, I, I, I don't like this, but outside of that, the times will be changing and that's really all it is, but we're going to be moving on. So five nights at Freddy's, which I'm going to be very honest with you guys. This is not my generation at all. I have no understanding of what FNAF is at all. Like genuinely, I'm not even joking. I just know the, the memes, what's been on Twitter and that's really it. So Disgusting Films actually tweeted, Five Nights at Freddy's earns the biggest domestic opening day ever for a video game movie with 
39 million dollars that's actually kind of crazy because like i'm gonna be real with you i didn't realize that people were going crazy for this movie the mario movie i felt the hype for that like not even a joke domestic meaning obviously us i'm i'm, I'm gonna have to guess but uh yeah no that's absolutely insane because the mario movie did 31.7 million in domestic opening day that's actually kind of i didn't realize that this this must be like genuinely for a whole entire generation like they're like obviously pokemon is pokemon but there for for those of us that were born in the 90s you understand what i mean when like that pokemon era hit it was it just was everywhere and i maybe this is what it is for like a the newer generation in my opinion for americans because i've saw after that like a lot more people talking about it a lot more people just like being more excited before it I just didn't know at the time. And that was more may, mostly likely just a me thing. So I guess maybe seriously, in all honesty, I saw this clip and I guess the movie is this serious. <laughs> yes, you, you saw that. Yes, people started breaking out fighting at, a, at the movie for Five Nights at Freddy's. Now, I, I, as I said, I, I don't understand why I maybe... That movie is such a banger. Maybe somebody said something to change the opinion of other people. But yeah, no, you see that uh, it, it, it's kind of crazy. But let me know what you guys think. I, I've never played the game at all. Never, at, never at all. Like, I, I'm, I'm sorry to tell you that the, the Chuck E. Cheese aesthetic is actually horrifying. So I'm, I'm very much good off of that. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Remember how I talked about the fact that the Mario vs. Sonic War is completely, like, it's over. I think that, like, Sega, if they don't even acknowledge that at this point. We all understand it. We all know that the head-to-head -head happened. And funny enough, nobody really, like, even called it a head-to-head -head because it's not even a competition anymore. But in Japan, it, it got really bad. And I saw this tweet basically saying it was not a good idea to launch Sonic Superstars in the same week as Super Mario Bros. Wonder in Japan. Physical sales switch. Super Mario Bros. Wonder, 638K. Sonic Superstars, 4K. 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 I, I, like, I don't think people understand how insane that is. I understand that, yes, Mario, but why would you even put this in the same weekend as Mario Wonder? Like, that actually just makes no sense. Like, the war is, it, it the 4K physical, that's, in my opinion, that is actually very crazy, especially, especially with how well the Switch has done in Japan it's it's very insane to me i maybe to others maybe it's not but for sonic i know that sonic isn't that super popular but they even continued on to say sonic frontiers did better with 46k physical units at launch on ps4 slash 5 and switch it's the best launch for a sonic game in japan in the last 19 years sonic superstars on the switch came in with 4k sales and sadly the ps4 Five version did not even chart in the top 30 at launch in japan that is actually insane sonic has not been popular in japan for a while in terms of sales it does much better in the west though here are the top sonic physical launches in japan via game data library superstars would be number 15 4 through 6k if we add all ps4 slash 5 and switch together that is crazy. I don't like I understand that it may not be popular, but especially with like knowing the, the market and the whole idea is to like get as many people that will buy the game. And yes, there will be people that buy the game maybe later on. But for your initial sales, I don't even know why you would put anything near Mario. Like genuinely, it's not it just doesn't even sound like a good idea at all. And this wasn't even like the, the next gen 3D Mario. Obviously, Mario Wonder does well, but like. I would never, and this is like basically like the year of Mario in all honesty. Like, I, I don't know. I wonder if there's like another year. Is this going to be like the highest selling year of Mario just in general? Like, to be honest, like if that was ever looked at, now obviously I'm not talking about like the movies and stuff like that, but mostly just like for gameplay. Like, is this about to be the year that Mario just crushes it? Because 
there's just so much Mario at this point in time. I would like I don't even know why they they tried this. They should have just waited for November or maybe even December where it's Christmas and people are feeling a little bit more generous so they have gifts on their side. But that is actually crazy. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think that this is like a, a sign or do you guys think that it was just a dumb idea to actually release at the same time as Mario Wonder, which is an amazing game, by the way. You guys know what time of year it is. It is Nintendo Doomer time. You know, we've had so much going on with just other games and how everything has been going with like the Nintendo Switch outside of the hardware. And we had somebody by the name of Unfunny that said, ah, yes, the famously neglected Nintendo series, Animal Crossing and Super Mario. And basically, it's another YouTube thumbnail, possibly taken out of context. We never know. Maybe I got to watch the video to actually get an understanding. I saw that it was like 42 minutes, so I'm not definitely not going to be doing a reaction on this video. But they put neglected Animal Crossing arms, which uh, I don't know, man. I, maybe it needs to be neglected outside the fact that Twin Tail is should have been in Smash. Uh, Mother 3 Mario Galaxy 2. Now, it's very interesting when you talk about neglected series when you talk about these games that actually have had games now they may have not have been handled amazing animal crossing i'm looking at you but but i'm going to be honest with you there they 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 got games there are other games that that deserve a lot more at this point in time uh, and just other people even saying that basically mother is finished and yeah possibly they could do remakes and stuff like that but it's very interesting at this time of the year where it's like we just received everything. You even got an F zero game in 2023. You got an F zero game. I don't know. It's just so interesting. The lane of like what's needed on the switch. The switch is killing it. Like for any console to actually come out with like the remake that you're hoping for, because they want this console to sell. It's, it's going to be this console. So you never know. We, you could see Super Mario Galaxy 2 come to the Switch at some point in time. Who, who knows if they'll sell it for possibly $40, which people will be also upset about. But we'll see what happens. Let me know what you guys think. You remember when I said that memes are the lifeblood of the Splatoon community? Now, this one image sparked a new meme in the Splatoon community. And for some reason, I, I it, all it was was a simple. And the thing is, like, you know, this person was sitting in the room. It was just like, aha, I think the talking flower looks like a sploosh. And that's what they did. They combined the sploosh with the talking flowers in Mario Wonder. And this brought out all the modders because they were just like, yo, this is an amazing idea. So you just had Diem actually build the sploosh with the flowers on it and adding it to the body of the sploosh. Now you thought that like, you know, all right, cool. They, they just brought it to life and that's really all it is. No, this sparked, this sparked someone adding it to a trizuka. And they said this effing unreactable special guys. I don't think you understand what started because it continues and they made it on to killer whale 5.1. Anyway, here's Wonder Whale by Ash Binary. And guys, as I said, the meme, it just, just keeps growing. And I, I want to see exactly where this can be taken to for just like in general, all memes, all, in all honesty, if somebody can put this together with the uh, Evangelion like background, you know, where the head is like out, like out of the water and somebody just puts the flower there instead. But it even reached Salmon Run. Let me show you guys the clip. Yes, you got that right. They replaced Mr. Grizz. <laughs> well, the, the, the radio with the flower. And, it, and funny enough, it, it fits. The talking flower really does actually fit with that. Hey, man, as I said, Memes are the lifeblood of Splatoon. If you guys don't actually believe that, you might be lost because memes carry this game. So for our last topic, I have to ask you guys, how have you been feeling about Mahi Mahi? And the only reason I'm bringing this up is because Google Translate, and now I, I wish that somebody can confirm this because Google Translate brought up one of the funniest translations 
because of the just like you know how it works so there is this like japanese like i guess like they're like a magazine web not well website that deals with splatoon and basically it says sad news after the renovation mahi mahi changed from a narrow shit station to a wide shit station (laughs) i just have to say that that's absolutely hilarious how have you guys been feeling about it? I've only brought this up because of this t- literal title. I-, I saw somebody else quote retweet it. I was just like, yo, that's actually hilarious. But how have you guys been feeling about this map? Do you guys think that they did a great job with like maybe making changes? But in my opinion, I find this absolutely hilarious because of the fact that it- it- it's just like, I- I'm wondering if that's actually how they feel about this map at this point. Is that how you feel about the map? Like genuinely, what is... How does Mahi stand with you at this point? And do they just need to give up and bring back old Mahi Mahi? Honestly, that's a hashtag we should get behind. We just need to like forget about the maps, forget about the in-game items. We need to start the campaign to bring back Splatoon 1 Mahi Mahi. Because, and I don't know if that would absolutely break the game. Does it like, it, is, that, is it too complicated at this point? But like, just bring it back like just for a day that would be a great thing to do just bring back like old like old maps like that and just allow us to play on them like even if it's not like a all the time thing maybe like it's a special weekend like splatoon one weekend i feel like that would be kind of dope it would be just kind of like a way to like go back and look at certain maps that aren't in the game that'd be a great special event by the way that should be a challenge that they do with just bringing back old maps and like just allowing us to play on them again Maybe the because of the engines, I don't know. But let me know what you think about that. But as I said, I'm going to catch you guys later. Thank you guys for being here today. One thing I did want to bring up is the fact that I'm going to be doing replay Sundays on my Twitch account. Basically, what that's going to be is it's literally just us vibing and watching like people in my community's replays. And that's it. I'm just going to be talking and it's not going to be anything analytical. Just show you, send your best plays. It's going to be in my Discord. So if you want to join my Discord, links down below. But just put those replays in, and maybe they possibly might show up on these videos also if you guys are down for that. So again, I'm going to catch you guys later. Have an amazing day. Peace out.